service uh, by Miller County. And I think obviously we need to have some kind of form. Uh, probably the RPA needs to provide that to each county. And as Sarah Duncan has pointed out, she may not want to use that in her county, so or some of her district. And so we probably need to have language in the rules that say uh, they must fill out or shall fill out their designation, whether they want to be a uh, district committee member or not, on a form supplied by the RPA or a comparable form supplied by that respective county. That needs to happen. That's not in the current rules. But it just goes to what AJ is talking about, where we have a responsibility. For example, if, if we filed somebody and they didn't get a notarized signature, their Democrat candidate to go and get them thrown off the ballot. We have a responsibility, the chairman and the secretary that oversee the filing process, to make sure that our candidates fill out fill out all of the paperwork and fill it out properly. And I've been here as a chairman in the past, and I've done that. And I can tell you, we didn't file out fill out uh, forms for district committee because we had a heck of a time getting people to do that. We just simply <coughs> asked them whether they'd be willing to serve. And usually, it was a small number that were willing to serve on the district committee less than half. So I think what's going to happen in filing in November, when they are asked to, to fill out the form, is you're going to find out that less than half of them actually sign up to be on the district committee, and those committee positions will all go open to other uh, people who want to run for those. So with 20 uh, elected positions and then 24 other open positions we've got, we'll have probably 36 or some positions available for those of you that want to run for either re-election or if you're not on the district committee now, you can run for election next June uh, to serve on the, the district com committee. Because if you don't know this, uh, we will elect a new district committee next year. And some of you, I'm sure, hopefully will run for re-election and we'll re-elect you. And others may not do that and there may be openings uh, where others can run and become a member of the district committee and hopefully to support our uh, district chairman, we can uh, have a full 44 from Saline County. So because of that and, and the need to really uh, think about what needs to be done to fix the problem, not just for Saline County, because I think we've heard from other counties that also didn't follow the rules, uh, we're going to need to uh, do more than just say, okay, Saline County didn't, uh, didn't break the rules, but that's fine, we'll just continue on like we've been doing.